I mean, Dan Byrne is living the dream. You can't believe it, can you? I mean, you look at him. He's a jolly lad, born in Blythe, season ticket holder at Newcastle, who idolised Alan Shearer when he sat up in the, with the rest of us in the crowd. I mean, look at his start. New Hartley, Blythe Town, Blythe Spartans, he's pushing trolleys in Asda. And he goes from that, he goes to Darlington. Hardly a glamour move. He's on loan at Yeovil Town. He, he plays for Wigan Athletic. He's been brought up the hard way. Who would think when he was brought up like that he would be a Champions League player with Newcastle United, his hometown club? I mean, the story is staggering. The two guys down at Wrexham that shouldn't be making a film about Wrexham, they should be making a Hollywood film about Dan Byrne. He's the great a fairy tale story. The guy pushing the trolleys at Asda, they played for New Hartley, Blight Town, Bly Spartans, Darlington, Yeovil Town in Wigan, is now part of the cream of the Premier League and just about to attack Europe. It is incredible. And I think what he brings to the table is so loved by Eddie Howe that he's looked at Jamal Lewis and said he's not Premier League class anyway. And he's looked at Target and thought, who's the better? Well, Target might be the more natural left back, but Burns' attributes are that much different. I mean, Target is fascinating because you wonder why Newcastle haven't had him on loan and saw what he was like. If they then spend 16 million or whatever it is to bring him permanently, you presume he's the automatic left back for the rest of if time at Newcastle United. And all of a sudden, not only is he not, but he's not for an eight foot six and a half. Now, that why, if that decision is consciously being made by the manager, that I prefer. Dan Byrne to Matt Target, and that decision has been made because Matt Target got fit, as you say. Why did we sign him in the first place? Having had him on loan, so we saw his assets, but we also saw his limitations. Fascinating that how Target finished here and then got usurped by Big Dan. All that remains to be done, John. I want you just to tell me what next season holds for Dan Byrne. Next season holds the realisation of everything that brought him into football. The realisation of a dream. The realisation of the impossible dream. Because when he was playing for New Hartley, when he was playing for Blytown and Bly Spartans, and I'm not having to go at those clubs because I've been at that level with Gateshead, when he was playing for them and in Asda, he lived dreamt the impossible dream, which was that I'd play for Newcastle United in the Champions League. We've all dreamt that. No chance whatsoever. Sorry, next season he is going to do that. And therefore, next season will be the most memorable season in Dan Byrne's career once it comes to an end, because he will have played in that competition. And um, it's wonderful. It's what stirs the heart. It's I'll go back to what I already said. Those two Hollywood stars at Wrexham ought to get themselves out of Wales and get up here and make a blockbuster film of Dan Byrne because he is the local hero. We play the local hero for the club to run out to. He is the local hero. He epitomises the joy, the possibility, the everything that's good about football because football is meant for people like Dan Byrne. It's not meant for the prima donnas who come and think that God's gift to the game of football in our trouble in the dressing room, trouble for teammates, trouble for fans, let fans down. Dan Byrne will never be accused of that. Next season, Dan, enjoy every minute of it because it's your moment in wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. And you will remember that for the rest of your life. And eventually you'll be sitting there. That haircut will be disappearing. The legs won't be doing the dancing. But you'll be saying to your grandkids, hey, did I tell you about when I played in the Champions League for Newcastle United? And the kids will be saying, yeah, granddad, you told me that this morning, yesterday morning, in the morning before that. 
that's what he's earned in his career and that's what he'll be able to do so enjoy next season dan we as newcastle united supporters are going to enjoy it you're in a privileged position enjoy it even more